what's up everybody welcome back to exotic astrology once again and today we will discuss on gym and spiritual life <laughs> what is the connection between a gym and spiritual life if you have not subscribed to my channel yet then subscribe to it and if you like this video click the thumbs up and share it with whoever you know or whoever goes to the gym <laughs> or whoever is planning to go to the gym and if you are interested in making some donation for the sustenance of the channel then you can go to paypal the link is below and do some donation or else continue watching this video till the end all right what happens at the gym how many of you have been there or how many of you have not been there <laughs> everybody has been there right at some point in life now what happens there is you do things yourself am i right you do not let anybody else do things for you which simply means that when you are entering the domain of spiritual knowledge it is like you are entering a gym the guru can tell you like the instructor that you should pick up this in the initial days and then you should increase the dose as you go ahead all right you should do some jogging some free and exercises some warm up and then ultimately you should go for muscle building or whatever i, I don't have much knowledge so i will not blabber in that area <laughs> So similarly, when we enter the domain of spirituality, it is like entering the gym because the Guru can suggest us, advise us, show us, give us direction of what to do, when to do, how much to do, how much not to do. But at the end of the day, it is you who have to press the button. If you do not press the button, it is not going to happen because you only gain muscles when you pull those dumbbells, right? Or whatever is there in the gym available. You do not get muscles by all the time hearing from the instructor. Okay, you do this now, now you do that. No, it doesn't happen like that. Only hearing will not produce any result. Which means that whenever we are hearing spiritual topics, we also have to apply them. We have to apply the different principles which are there in these scriptures. But for that you have to know them first. For that you have to hear. <laughs> At the same time applying them is very important. Otherwise anybody can claim to be spiritual or connected to God etc. But if you are not doing things on the ground. As always I ask what is there in the ground. Please show me. If there is nothing in the ground that means there is a problem. <laughs> That means that you will very soon leave whatever you are planning to do or you will not do or even if you are doing you will reduce it. For example if you are chanting certain mantras if you are not doing it regularly there is a possibility that you do not do it after some time. Yes just like going to the gym if you stop going one day then next day you feel okay let me not go today also. It is very similar. And there are people who say that okay i tried this i tried that nothing worked but the question to be asked to them is i personally ask them this question that how much time do you need to develop a figure or a good body when you go to the gym depending on your current situation right if you have if your body is very much deformed if you are very much overweight then you will need long time to come to shape if you are not very much overweight which means to say that you are not obese but you are just overweight then you will not need much time and if you are already in a good shape then it's just a matter of time you will make it so similarly spiritual life is also like that it is like the situation of a person who has started going to the gym now slowly that means 
he has to consistently he or she has to consistently put efforts in the direction of his improvement otherwise if he gets discouraged and puts the things down which he is doing as a part of his schedule then there will be no effect and then you will also be like that person who said that oh i go to the gym but from monday <laughs> because every day comes right but monday never comes <laughs> or you will become like the person who said i will go to the gym from tomorrow <laughs> as the saying goes in hindi kal kabhi nahi aata hai <laughs> tomorrow never comes so if you are thinking that i will do this practice tomorrow i will do reading of the scriptures tomorrow i will visit the holy places tomorrow i will sing the bhajans tomorrow or if you are thinking i will do this puja tomorrow i will meet this guru tomorrow like going to the gym i will go to the gym tomorrow well that is never going to happen you have to deliberately make time for it because anything substantial requires time should i repeat <laughs> anything substantial anything concrete anything valuable which is going to have value substance and addition to your life needs time energy efforts and perseverance and tolerance and that is true with everything how long do you need to get a medical degree in india how much how many years 6 years right think carefully is it 6 years maybe it's 5 years mbbs i don't know 5 or 6 in germany it's probably 8 years okay let us take suppose it is 5 years but the question it is does it actually need 5 years to get a medical degree no right <laughs> if that would be true then every baby would start learning medical science and by the time he is the age of 5 5 and 1/2 or 6 he would have become a doctor he or she <laughs> but that doesn't happen which means that you need to learn nursery first then kg upper kg then you need to learn first standard then up till then you go to the 10th standard and after that you go to 11th 12th and then you go to bachelor's finally which means you need if you start studying from the age of 3 till the time you get your mbbs degree or doctor's certificate or whatever you call it it is roughly the age of 23 or 24 so you need almost 18 years to get one certificate can you imagine and that to after getting that certificate do you become a doctor of the whole body <laughs> no you just become a general doctor a general physician if i am not wrong if i am wrong somebody can correct me but if you want specialization you have to do more and then you have to do super specialization if you want to do of the eye then you have to do of the eye only you cannot be a doctor of the heart and of the eye and of the skin together <laughs> it's not possible which means that if to study a mundane thing like medicine or engineering it needs 22 23 years of your life how come you think that just by chanting a mantra for 2 months or 3 months my life is going to change completely well it is not like that that is why i have given the analogy of going to the gym <laughs> that is why this video is named as gym and spirituality all right that is what i wanted to say that the traits of saturn is very much required because the planet mars gets exalted in the zodiac sign of capricorn that means whenever 
we talk of Mars, Saturn has to be there. Otherwise, Mars is in trouble <laughs> because then there is no discipline. And discipline means doing things on a regular basis irrespective of you like it or you don't. Because emotions which deal with our likes and dislikes is the fourth house opposite of Capricorn which is Cancer. And tenth house is the house of karma or actions. Which means that we are supposed to ideally, supposed to perform them without liking or disliking them. If you like them, that's great. If you do not like them, don't stop. Alright, so whatever you are doing in your spiritual journey, please make sure you make time for it. Do it every day or once in a week, whatever is your schedule as or whatever plan you have decided or whatever your guru has suggested you. But whatever it is, keep doing it continuously, non-stop. If you are reading one shloka from the Bhagavad Gita every day, keep it one. But do that every day. Very simple. One shloka at a time. How many shlokas are there in the Gita? Roughly 700 shlokas, right? 700? Yes, roughly. <laughs> that, that means how, how much time it will need? I don't know. It's 700 or 800 nearby that number. Maybe around two, two and a half years, right? Or maybe three years. If you miss one, two days in between. In your anniversary, in your birthday, in your exam, you will miss, right? <laughs> you are allowed to miss those days. But when the world is back to its place, it is better we do it regularly. And then when you do it regularly, then you see the effects. Just like a person who goes to the gym and he picks up the dumbbells daily. Well, now somebody will come and, okay, you should not go to the gym daily. You should give time for muscle resting and all. Those are all analogies. I am not bringing them here. But the point is what I am trying to make that like you have sincerity in going to the gym. It can be one once in a week or twice in a week or some people go every alternate day. I am not talking of the details here. I am talking of the principle of sincerity. Okay, so take that in mind and go ahead in your spiritual journey. You will definitely have great success. Okay, until next time, if you have any questions, queries or comments, then let me know in the comment section. Until next time, bye-bye. See you.